Well, tonight we're also following the money while Governor Ron DeSantis travels the country campaigning for president. His boosted security is costing you, the Florida taxpayer. Tonight, 10 Tampa Bay's Aaron Parsegian has a look at the rising price of protecting the governor. A fleet of vehicles driven by Florida law enforcement agents crashed on a Tennessee highway last month. The motorcade was taking Governor Ron DeSantis to a campaign event. We don't know how much this collision cost the state, but we know the taxpayer cost of protecting the governor, now a national figure, has gone up dramatically. From July of 21 through June of last year, FDLE spent nearly $6 million in salary and travel protecting the governor and the first family. From July of last year through June of this year, those costs climbed to nearly $9.5 million. Get ready. The governor's office saying in part his effective record has brought an elevated threat profile, so FDLE has increased the number of agents keeping him safe. I think it's related to the governor's travel uh, in connection with his presidential ambitions. By law, FDLE must provide protection to the gov and the first family, but the blurred lines between candidate and governor is drawing criticism from watchdog groups. Are they coincidental or is the governor taking advantage of the law that allows him to essentially combine campaign related travel with official travel. And new laws in Florida shield much of the information about the governor and other state officials travel. Sadly, we're left to speculate about a lot of these expenses and we're just stuck with a bill to pay it. Aaron Parsegian, 10 Tampa Bay. FDLE also provides security for politicians and dignitaries who visit our state, like Vice President Kamala Harris and others. The total costs have also surged for that, about $300,000 in the past year. We have a full breakdown of all of these costs. It's posted right now in this story on 10tampabay.com.